Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on pie charts. Uh, in this video we're just going to have a look at a couple of example questions. Uh, so for the first one, Brian asks 60 people what their favourite colour is and separates the answers into five categories. His results are shown in the table below. Draw a pie chart to display Brian's results. Uh, well first of all, there's 60 people that he's asked. Uh, so let's work out uh, what angle is represented by one person. Uh, so to do that, we know that there's 360 degrees in a circle, and he asked 60 people, so 360 divided by 60 equals 6 degrees. So that's one person. Okay, so now we can work out the angle for each uh, colour in the pie chart. Uh, and to do that, we just multiply the frequency by the angle taken up by one person. Uh, so the first one then, the colour red, will be 10 times 6, uh, so that's 60 degrees. And then for blue, it will be 13 times 6, which is 78 degrees. And then for green, 24 times 6, which is 144 degrees. And for yellow, it will be 5 times 6, which is 30 degrees. And finally, for the other category, it will be 8 times 6, which is 48 degrees. So if you add all of those up, uh, you should get an answer of 360 degrees for the total amount. It's just a good way of double checking you've got the right angle for each category. So uh, using these angles, we can now plot the pie chart. Uh, so the first category is the red category, and that has an angle of 60 degrees. Uh, so let's draw that. Now I haven't got a protractor here, but when you're doing this in, a, in an exam, make sure that you are using a protractor to measure the angles. Uh, so that's a red category, and that should be an angle of 60 degrees. And then the next one, the blue category, that should have an angle of 78 degrees, so slightly larger than that. So 78 degrees there. So that's blue. And then for the next one, the green category, uh, that's an angle of 144 degrees. That's quite a large angle, so that should look something like this. So you don't have to label the angle, uh, but make sure you label each segment. Uh, so that's green. And then the yellow category. So that has an angle of 30 degrees, so it should be about half the size of the red one. So 30 degrees there, that's obviously yellow. And then finally the other category uh, should be uh, an angle of 48 degrees there. So obviously I've not used a protractor so my answer is not particularly accurate. Um, let's label that other. Uh, but then your completed pie chart should look something like this. So moving on to the second example now. A survey was done asking 90 people how many bathrooms were in their home. Freddie drew a pie chart to display the results of this survey. Part A, what number of bathrooms was most common in this survey? Well, the largest category, as we can see from the pie chart, is two, uh, so therefore that is the most common number of bathrooms. And then part B, calculate the number of people who have one bathroom in their house. Uh, well, to do this, we're gonna to need to measure the angle. So that's the angle here in the one category. Uh, now, if you use a protractor to measure an angle in an exam, uh, in this particular example, I haven't got a protractor, um, but the angle here is 100 degrees. Uh, so if we know that the angle is 100 degrees, and we know that there is 90 people in total, uh, then we can work out how many people are in this particular category by working out what fraction of the pie chart, sorry, what fraction of the total circle is taken up by this angle, and then multiplying it by the total number of people. Uh, so to do that, we do 100 divided by 360, so that gives us the fraction of the pie chart which is taken up by this one particular category. And then we multiply that by the total number of people, which is 90. And that gives us an answer of 25. So there are 25 people who have one bathroom in their house. So the final part then, part C. If Freddie picks someone at random from the group, what is the probability that he chooses a person with exactly one bathroom? So that probability is 100 divided by 360 since that's the uh, proportion of the circle, the pie chart that's taken up uh, by people in that category. Uh, that's the same as 25 over 90, as we've just seen. Uh, if you cancel all that down, you should get the simplified form of five over 18. So that is the probability that he chooses a person with exactly one bathroom. If you're feeling strong on this topic, then you can test your strength with our pie charts online exam. Uh, it's available through our revision platform 
And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, variety of different question types, and you'll receive instant feedback on everything. So if you want to find out where your strengths and weaknesses lie, this is a really good way of doing so. Uh, if you're interested and you want to take the exam, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.